Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, uh, again, uh, the reason I'm uh, taking this video again, uh, this is something uh, which I want to, wanted to discuss today in this video. So here, uh, again, I'm uh, going through the same part which we have discussed in our previous video. So here, um, we have got a value and uh, like it's mentioned here, so I need to extract the value, the x, y, z minus 1, 2, 3, 4 minus a, b, c using the x, y, z 1, 2, I mean, like just, uh, I, I just want to remove uh, the uh, minus or the hyphen inside the value. So I have to extract the value. And this time we'll see how to uh, do this uh, without using any code, but we'll just use, do that using just the uh, regular expression extractor. And in fact, I, I, I wanted to uh, thank one of our subscriber. He has given a demo video on that as well. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And the reason I have taken this video here is I wanted to show you because a lot, lot many times uh, people used to ask me about why should we add the group part like dollar one dollar? What is the reason behind adding that? And why do we need to add and what exactly is it? So in this video, we'll see uh, how to extract this value without any code and we are just going to do that using a regular expression and the next part is i will show you how to use the group so that will help you uh, that will give you an idea on why we need to use the group and also if you understand that logic that will definitely help you to learn more and you can independently use that group to achieve a lot and lot of items in the uh, in, in terms of your uh, performance testing in terms of your regular expression extra extraction and in terms of correlation. So please do watch the video till the end and this video will definitely, definitely help you in your course of your career because this in this video, the main focus is towards the groups. It's, it's not only about the expression extraction, but it's also about the, not about only the regular expression extraction, but also, it's also about the group part, okay? So uh, I have my JMeter open here. And I have a dummy sampler. And in that dummy sampler, I have a response data. So basically the dummy sampler is something where you can give a request and where you can have your response data and you can print it. So for example, in the view results tree, when I'm running it, you can see uh, I have sent the request which I have in my request data. And then I have my response data where I'm going to print the value. So that's what is printed. So in the request, you can see it in the request body and in the response data, you can see that in the response uh, data. So what I'll do now is let me go back. I'll pick the code, the entire code here and then I'll paste it. Okay. So it is going to be, uh, sorry, uh, in the dummy samplers, I'm going to just paste the entire response data. And now when I run this, I'm just clearing it. And when I run this, See, you can see in the response data, I'm having the entire code. And now what I uh, what I want, want to do is I want to extract this particular data and then I have to print it, right? So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a regular expression extractor, the regex extractor. Which is under the post processor. And now I'm going to write the value. So let me just uh, make it like demo extraction and let's write the regular expression uh, regular expression for that to pick it. so let me pick the right boundary and left boundary for you and yep here i have my right boundary and left boundary let me remove the other unwanted value so this again is enough so let me uh, take you through uh, step by step so for now i'm going to just do dollar star western mark and this will extract the value. So just want to help you in terms of each and every step. So if you see um, in the response data, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, I just have to give the group number. So yeah, like I told you, uh, the group again, the group we're going to do. So firstly, I'm going to give dollar one dollar. So this will pick only the first group of value or the first set of values. So if there is like one set of data, then that will be printed. And for the match number, I'm going to give one. So that will pick my first match number. In case if you're giving zero, it will pick the random value. And if you're giving minus one, it will pick all the values so that we all know. And then I'm going to give NA or even that can be like, a, okay, let me make it as NA, which is a default value if the value is not found. So let me save and clear everything. And when I run it, oh, 
yeah so we i'm just uh, again and again printing the data so just uh, to uh, view the value we need to add another sampler here okay so now to print the value uh, to print uh, the extracted value uh, i'll add another dummy sampler so for that i'm going to the samplers and dummy sampler so in the response i'm going to add the extracted value and now when i print or when i run this test you can see i have extracted the value so it's just simple so i have extracted the um, value which i've got here i mean like whatever value that comes between code and data so now the next part is so if you see in the dummy sampler we have got the minus symbols right so we have to eliminate that value and we have to extract the other values so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going back to the regular expression extractor and i'm going to add a minus which is the hyphen that that separates the value and in fact i can even uh, show you this way so when i uh, just have only the minus okay so i have the code and then whatever value that comes in between the uh, minus and the code and when i run it so you can see what happens in the results tree so you can see i have got only the x y z right so now what i'll do is now we'll have to move to the next part okay so for getting the next part of it i'm going to add the same thing the the lazy uh, expression which extracts the ev everything in the uh, code so let i've just got the second set of expressions and so for the first set of expression which is for this particular value i have dollar one dollar which is the first group and now for the second set of group i'm adding the second set which is dollar two dollar right then i'm saving it and running and when i run it uh yeah i'm about to add the second set of uh values here so let me go back to the expression extractor and then let me add another minus which is the second set of minus and let me save clear run it so now you can see i have got the xyz and then the second group right so this is how the group works so more than ex uh, extracting the values the group plays a major role in terms of this this kind of complex value so you can you can you actually try this in in different examples in fact i will just demo you in, in in another few minutes and now let's move on to the third set so the third set is again the a b c and that ends with the colon right so let me go back go to the uh, expression extractor dollar star question mark and then what's the third one which is the colon uh, sorry the semicolon right and then before i save let me add the three right and then let me clear everything and when i run this go to the view results tree here we, we are successfully able to get the value uh the xyz one two three four abc and in fact this does not work alone uh sorry just it does not work with this one even even you can extract any amount of data it's not just this one you can try with colon you can try with any values even if, if there is something like if there's some what, what if in scenario like if you got slash uh, uh backslash right so in case if you have got backslash let, let's try that as well so you've got backslashes uh, sometimes like for example if, if you are extracting time and you have a backslash in between it what will you do right so we will try that now okay so i've got slashes in between and then the regular expression extractor i'm going to add the slashes the backslashes okay and when i go to the execution so here you can see it has got na because the reason is the backslash is a way to it is a way uh, it, it's it's a value which which will escape the value so what we have to do is we have to add double backslashes so that will escape the one of the backslash and in turn it will get you the value so when i run it here if you see yeah so this is again another example so that's the reason i'm giving you with different examples so for minus you don't need to worry about that you can just give directly the minus but what if it's a backslash so in that scenarios you have to use the backslashes which is double backslashes and that will help you uh, to extract the values okay so these are some of the things and what if like in, in some other scenarios uh, some of the common uh, things like if you have like a dollar symbol and you want to remove the dollar symbols yes it's same you can do it you can do the dollar symbol so let me go back to the dummy sampler and here if you see i have uh, the dollar and same way 
another dollar and when I when you run it you will be able to get the value oh sorry I think um, yeah it's a dollar symbols then the dummy expression extractor yeah we have the dollar symbol so for the dollar symbol again this is something uh, similar to the backslash so you have to add a backslash to escape the dollar symbol so these are some of the examples I would say uh, again in terms of groups you can learn a lot and then in terms of your um, uh, the regular expressions I mean like if you have backslashes if you have dollar symbol see if, if I'm running it uh, you can very well see you can see this value right so these are some of the ways you can try and if you face any uh, issues or challenges like this please do comment in the comment section and we will uh, discuss that video and again thank you so much for uh, answering this question and thank you so much for asking this question I uh, will see much more information uh, in the upcoming uh, sessions and uh, thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join the uh, join my channel and uh, like and share the video with your friends thank you and take care and bye bye